Hope you guys like hanging out at my house. It's time to cook with me and I'm making a shepherd's pie. So I like making these videos because this is literally, if you came to my house, this is seriously how I would treat you. And I like having guests over <laughs> and I like it being really chill and like nothing serious. Let's just hang out and eat and be friends, right? So that's what you guys get to do here. And if, if my friends ever watch this, they can comment down below and they will tell you that is the straight up truth. So I'm making shepherd's pie tonight and right now I have some meat. I'm using turkey meat, ground turkey, and I have that cooking. And I, I think I put it a little low, so let me turn it up a little bit. And um, I have what's left of a bag of potatoes, which I think this is going to be the perfect amount for the shepherd's pie. I'm getting ready to peel that and I'm going to cook that down. And then um, I'm pretty much just going to take a can of vegetables and some pre-mixed gravy and put it all together, put the little tiny bit of leftover cheese I have on top, and voila, dinner is served for tonight. We do have a little bit of veg left that I might throw together, a salad as well. I have a few tomatoes still sitting on my windowsill. All the rest of the tomatoes on the vine are green, and I think they're going to stay green if I leave them on the vine while we're gone, so I'm just, I'm just going to let them stay. You know what I'm saying? That they'll be fine. And we do have our house sitter here, and their family has a garden, so if he sees that they're green, then I'm sure he'll pick them as well. But I'm going to go get my vegetable peeler and start peeling these potatoes because that's like the main thing that I've got to get going. And then we're going to get this dinner together. Okay, so as you guys know, we have... I turned that meat down. I turned it up too high. We have the wedding coming up. And it is just approaching very quickly. And things are a little bit crazy. So in, we've been packing and buying our last minute things and trying to get everything together. And of course, every time that happens, you know, there's always going to be something pop up that's unexpected. So today's unexpected adventure is that the light switches in my bathroom and the other bathroom, for some reason, both of them at the same time, there's two light switches that are kind of starting to sizzle. And Rick is concerned that, like his main concern at the moment, is that while we're gone, like our house is gonna burn down or something like that. And, um, and so I called the ever helpful Paul Green, which as you know is one of my husband's best friends, and he is going to come over and change out the light switches. So I actually thought I could do it. I mean, there's a lot of great YouTube tutorials out there, but the fact is, is that I'm just so busy right now. I just, I don't, I'll make time for it if I have to, but I'd rather not. So we asked Paul, I was like, Paul, can you come help? And he said, sure. So Paul is planning to come over today and help us out with the light switches. But it's just all the little details when you start or plan for a trip that actually make the difference. I don't know about you guys, but I usually try to peel all of my potatoes first and then slice them. So basically what I'm gonna do with this shepherd's pie is make mashed potatoes. And I'm going to go ahead and um, mash them up, but I'm not really going to put too much cream or milk or anything. I'm just going to really butter them and put the cheese on top. Because a lot of the fat that you would normally put in the potatoes is going to come from the meat, although turkey is kind of a less fatty meat. But I still think I'm going to put less um, cream. I do, have, I do have a little bit of heavy whipping cream in the fridge that I need to use anyway. I just think when you put the really creamy stuff in the um, oven, to me it just doesn't taste as good. But that's just my opinion. I don't know if you have a particular way. And I mean, technically it's not really a shepherd's pie per se. A real shepherd's pie would use lamb. This is just a kind of version of shepherd's pie, so to speak. I think there's another name for it when it's beef, but I can't I can't think of what it is. I'm sure if you guys know, you'll put it in the comments. Brianna, right now, is working on her schoolwork. 
she's trying to get her college classes done a week in advance. The this, this ones that she can. Some of them she can't do in advance. She's going to have to take her laptop on the trip and do them. But as much as she can do in advance, she's trying to do so that we can just enjoy the trip without her having to worry about her schoolwork. And Brian is off. And he is going to go run and grab some things that he wants to bring on the trip. So he's out running errands. And I cut Brian and Rick's hair today. So they're all freshly trimmed. And I know I'm like looking rough myself. But I promise I'll clean up really nice <laughs> for the trip. It's just, you know, right now I got so much going on. I'm like, forget the hair. Well, Ricky just called. And we were doing a little check-in of information. And while he called, I finished cooking up the turkey. And I threw the can of mixed vegetables in here. And I put the gravy mix on top and added some water. And I'm about ready to take it out and put it in the pan. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So there it is. This is the ground turkey with the one can of mixed vegetables and the gravy mix and the water. And it's really, it's starting to get really thick. And I want it to be a little bit watery when I put it in my pan. So I have a square Pampered Chef pan and I'm going to put that in. And there it is, looking all pretty in the pan. So I'm going to check my potatoes and we'll make those and we'll put them on top. There's my potatoes and I just put salt and pepper and um, a little bit of basil and some onion powder and um, with the oven going off it said at 350 and I put a little butter and um, heavy whipping cream in there and that's it. I have just look the tiniest bit of cheese left that I'm going to sprinkle on top too. So using the leftovers. Okay here is my beautiful shepherd's pie and I don't know if you can see there. I just put the mashed potatoes in a layer over top and put some cheese on it and it is getting ready to go in the oven. It's going to be in that 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and I'm going to clean up. Somebody asked me the other day to do a video on how I keep everything clean and the truth of the matter is is that sometimes things aren't always clean. <laughs> I mean, it just depends. I do try my very best just because I am so ridiculously busy. My crazy towel hanging there. Um, <laughs> I try my best to clean as I go because otherwise, like for instance, this potato bowl, it will be really bad if I let it stay here. So I have just got to clean it immediately which is what I've got to do right now, or I just it's going to be a pain. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And then by the time I'm done cleaning this up, my shepherd's pie should be done. You guys, while I was making dinner, my magazine came in. Oh, wondrous grace. And this is my next one. I got two copies. That I wrote an article for. This one actually has my article that I wrote in it that I'm, I really loved and I was super proud of. And also um, a, my pumpkin chili recipe is in here. I'm, it's in plastic, so I'm going to open my copy and show it to you. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with this copy, but it's going to have to wait till I get back. So be, be prepared. There's a giveaway coming with this. So I wrote my article about the hymn, which was actually a poem by Annie Johnson Flint called He Giveth More Grace. And look, there's my article, you guys. It's so pretty. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen it, so look at that. It is so beautiful. Oh, and the magazine on the back, if you flip it, so like this is the magazine, but if you flip it over, there's an eight-week devotional, Bible memory, and gratitude journal. Look at this. Is that not the best? Look at that. It, I'm just so excited about this. I love this magazine, so 
I just had to show you guys. I, I love being a part of Oh Wonders Grace Chronicle. It is such a great magazine. And it's so pretty. It makes me so happy. Okay, back to dinner. <laughs> it's finished. Look at this. Let me show you up close. It's still bubbling. It's so ooey gooey yummy good. Look at this. Can you see that? <sighs> so it's 512. It's gonna have to sit there and cool for a little while and then we're gonna eat it. So alas, that is all you get to see. I'm gonna stop the filming and go ahead and edit it for you so you can eat, make dinner with me but uh, I'm gonna let that sit and cool down and when Rick comes home right around six o'clock we're gonna eat it anyway thank y'all for making dinner with me I'm gonna go handle this video business and I will see you guys tomorrow with a homeschool video so we'll see you next time bye